Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Look what came in the mail today. I got a package. This is actually from Makeup Revolution and this is their Monsters University collection and I'm actually kind of excited about this one. It came in this super cute little locker so this is kind of their collection for a back to school season. But let's take a look at this collection. How cute. So this is the Monsters University and it came in this fun little locker. You open it up and we have all the goodies inside. I don't know if you guys know this about me but Monsters Inc. the original was one of my all-time favorite movies. I was obsessed with it. I went to see it in theaters when I was younger and I bought the movie poster. I had like all the different character toys and all of that. So I was very, very much obsessed with that movie. Now I've, I have seen Monsters University but I don't know like the most about it because I haven't seen it a lot like Monsters Inc. I could probably quote the movie for you. I've seen it so many times, but I think I've only seen Monsters University one time. It came out quite a bit later um, than the original. So some of these characters I probably don't know, but yeah, we're gonna get into this. There's kind of a lot of eyeshadow palettes going on here, so I won't be able to try them all for you, but I will try to swatch everything. So I don't have makeup on yet. I thought we could just go over the collection and do some swatches. So they did send me this little booklet with the prices of everything. I got most of the products in the line, but there's a couple things I don't have, and I think this is available online right now on Makeup Revolution's website, which you can get a ton of stuff on their site. They have even more stuff than you can find at like Ulta. Um, and then I think this one's coming to Walgreens. I'm not sure about like Target or Ulta Beauty. I've only heard Makeup Revolution and Walgreens so far later this year, but if you want it now, it is on the Makeup Revolution website. And I feel like a couple of these things might sell out because there are some really cool things in here. But the first thing I wanted to share was we got this cute little Sully fur <laughs> makeup bag. It has the Monsters Inc. logo here. And I just went ahead and put all the little palettes in here to show you but yeah the first item is this cute little makeup bag this retails for $12 so you can buy this and like I said I put all the little palettes in here I got four of them which I believe is all the palettes in the collection and these look like little scare cards from the movie I don't remember them having scare cards in the Monsters University maybe they did but this is the first one of course we have Mike Wazowski and James P Sullivan so I love how they made it like a little scare card then you open it up and you have some really fun shades and they even made like a fun Sully print which is like a mixture of blue and pink I thought that was a really nice added touch we even have like a green for Mike Wazowski and then some neutrals to pair. Makeup Revolution, they do play with some color, but I feel like they always make it wearable for the everyday person, so they usually will always include some neutrals. And I do like greens and like browns together, so I think this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be a fun one. I kinda wish they would add a little bit more purples here and then move the greens up with these browns, but that's cute so that's the mike and sully mini palette these are going to retail for nine dollars so here is that one swatched i will say i mean it does look a little bit lackluster as far as the shimmers go in the palette they're not super bold i'll have to see how they go on the eye the mattes were very soft though but i mean i feel like this is typical makeup revolution eyeshadow quality but they do all feel very soft and creamy nothing was super hard or powdery next we have art and he has a really fun like purple and red palette I probably should have showed you guys this before I swatched it but I did dig my fingers in here already I feel like this one is very pigmented it has a couple I think of those pressed pigments so they do leave a little bit of staining behind but these are very vibrant mattes I would say and the shimmers felt really soft and smooth it also has one of those fun mixed shades which you can see it does kind of ruin it once you do swatch it you can't see the mixed kind of marbled design as well here is what the art palette looks like swatched i'm actually very impressed with those swatches it seems a lot deeper than the first one next palette this is don carlton 
and his palette is gonna have again this is a fun like fall color scheme I love the neutral browns in here with a pop of like berry and it also has one of those fun marbled shades inside I'm loving the color scheme of this one I kind of want to play with this one today this one also swatched really good so it seems like it only started out the first palette being a little iffy but this one looks very promising I don't know if you can tell how stained my fingers are now from these next we have Randall's palette and this is what his looks like of course purples a little purple and orange action going on and a fun marbled shade love how his marble shade came out it's like a really pretty purple you can kind of see a little bit of the blue in there but I really like this color scheme as well this is very fun now they also have a giant palette in this collection I feel like they do this a lot and I don't always like it I do not like huge palettes like this but look at this this is literally probably twice the size of my face it is absolutely humongous so this is like the sorority palette it's called fraternity and sorority inspired palette this one is $25 and it has 54 shades in here oh my goodness this thing is just this might be the biggest palette I've ever seen to be honest like oh my god <laughs> now it is kind of set up into different palettes which is nice if you guys don't have a lot of makeup you get almost six palettes in one which is nice so you have like your warm palette here your warm purples and oranges this is another kind of fun jewel tone fall warm colors a little more pastel kind of cotton candy vibes we have this kind of smoky cool tone palette and then this is another kind of jewel tone a little cooler color scheme and then we have some fun green so it is set up into little palettes which is kind of nice but personally I would rather just have the palette separate rather than this humongous thing that's going to be impossible to store but I mean should we swatch it I guess so <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this in sections because it's just too much but I swatched the first two palettes which these go really well together we have the jocks and then we have the roar I think is the houses look at those swatches though I'm really impressed okay next two sections I did swatch the more pastel one which is their pink sorority next to the eek sorority because I felt like those colors kind of went together I was a little iffy about how the pink section swatched just because it is more pastels a little bit lighter but it's not too bad and I feel like paired with the ones from the eek section I feel like you could get some good looks out of it okay and last two I feel like these don't really go together but on the top we have these fun vampy colors I think it's the hiss we're gonna call it the hiss house it says HSS and then we also have the OK which is Uzma Kappa which is the one that Mike and Sully were in in Monsters University so those are all the shades honestly I might have to play with this palette today because the swatches really impressed me in this one okay these I think are what I'm gonna be most excited for in the collection because these have the coolest packaging but we have this little Mike Wazowski highlighter and just wait because this is the cutest it is like 3d squishy packaging I love it so if you're like a fidgeter this is gonna be awesome but yeah we got a big Mike Wazowski on there that you could squish and it is a highlight I have not swatched this one yet I'm wondering if it has like a green tint to it okay kind of it actually is more like golden it's sheer though so I don't think it's gonna be over the top but it has like that almost whitish golden kind of look to it which is very fitting for Mike Wazowski and then this one I do not remember this character at all I don't know if it has a name it just says blusher but you guys can tell me in the comments but this is actually a cream blush again a squishy packaging I kind of wish this was a Sully instead since I don't know this girl but I'm assuming she's in the Monsters University movie. Let's swatch this. It looks very shiny for a cream blush. That's actually really pretty. It's like a melon pink. It swatched really nice. It's not overly glowy. But it looks like a nice formula actually. And I feel like Makeup Revolution actually has some really good cheek products. So I'm excited about that. The highlight is going to be $10. The so blush is going to be $8. And then lastly, from what I received, I have some lip products here. 
So the first thing I'm really excited about is this lip oil, just because lip oils have been my favorite thing as of lately. Of course, it has Randall on it. And they actually did a really good job with the packaging. So they have its little college Randall on the packaging here. And then it just says Monsters University. And it's like a clear-ish purple type of lip oil. It's probably just going to look clear on the lips, I'm guessing. Ooh, it smells very fruity. I think it's supposed to smell like bubble gum. But... Maybe a fruity bubble gum. It swells very good though. Let me do a swatch of the lip oil here. This is going to be $8. But yes, it does look pretty much like a clear to me. We also have a Sully lip gloss. This one's really cool cuz it has the ombre, it has the blue to purple for Sully. So cool and it has him on the packaging with his like Monsters University jacket on it and this is also bubblegum scented and again this is probably going to look clear on. That lip oil is actually turning a little bit colored like slightly but the lip gloss is definitely clear. And then I have two lipsticks. These are $10 each and they're supposed to have a berry scent. So this first one is the Art lipstick. So it has him all over. It's really cute packaging actually and it is a berry color. Gorgeous raspberry honestly and I feel like the pigment it was really good on that. And then we have the squishy lipstick which this one is supposed to be vanilla scented. And this is just a nice nude. It actually leans a lot more rosy pink. So those are the lip products I got. And that's everything I have for this collection. I think there's a couple other things just reading this little booklet they sent me. It looks like they're going to have a Don Carlton Jelly Grip Primer, which would be nice. It kind of seems like the e.l.f. one a little bit. So it's supposed to look like this here. And is that the only thing I didn't get? Oh, wait, I forgot. There is a brush set in the shape of the Scare Canister as well. So... I do not have the brushes. So only a couple things I didn't receive, but honestly, after like showing you guys everything and swatching it, I'm I was so excited to get this and review it for you guys. So I just want to get this all over my face, just kind of try everything out. I know this won't be the most thorough review cuz I cannot try all these things today, but I don't know. I received a lot of new makeup this week and I feel like this is one of the things I was the most excited for. Let's go ahead and do a fun makeup look with everything. So the first thing I do want to put on is a little lip oil cuz I got to have something on my lips. They're feeling a little dry. I don't know if you guys are the same way where you always have to at least have like a lip balm on or something. I'm just addicted. So I'm going to throw on the Randall lip oil just to get our lips moisturized. I bought another Makeup Revolution lip oil which was their Fortnite collection. It was the banana one. Love it. They actually do a really good job. And I can kind of see a slight a slight tint from this. It's actually a really pretty like your lips but better. It just gives a hint of berry to the lips. The formula I would say feels still kind of glossy. So let's go ahead and prime the eyes here. I just have a little bit of foundation on right now. This lip color is getting even darker as it sits. It's actually so beautiful. I love a good lip oil with a tint. I don't always like my lip products to just be clear. So I'm priming the eyes and like I said, I want to use the big palette. I feel like this lip color is getting so dark as we go here. So, I might have to wipe a little bit of that off before we try another product on the lips, but yeah, it's actually quite dark. I'm loving all the rich, just like fall tones in this big palette here. I think the first shade I want to use is just a nice crease shade. So I'm going to go in with this brown here. And we're going to place this in the crease. It is so funny to hold this big mirror up. Oh my gosh, this has to really be the biggest palette I've ever seen. That actually blends really nice. I'm impressed with the pigment on this color. I'm just doing a second light layer here. I kind of want to make this a little more berry toned, so I'm going to take this color. It's like a raspberry. And I kind of want to focus this maybe in the intersection a bit more. Blending into the brown. Let's actually skip over to this palette and I want to use this burgundy and place this in the outer corner.
I just have a tiny bit of powder fallout, but I feel like it's blending really nicely. In my lower lash line, I kind of want to use this darker brown color. So this dark brown is just going to be smudged along the lower lash line here. This one is a little more powdery in the pan, so it did have some powder kick up, but just making sure I really tap that off. I'm going to mix a little bit of this dark purple in there right underneath the brown that we used. So I think for my shimmer on the lid, what do I want to use? We're very vampy berry right now, so I kind of want to neutralize it just a bit with this like taupey, cool toned shimmer. So let's go ahead and place this on the lid. I would say this isn't the most impactful super metallic shimmer, but it still gives a nice subtle effect. It kind of like neutralizes things a little bit. Let's kick it up a notch and take this like fun duochrome white. It had like a pink shift to it. And let's see what that will do on top. That definitely amps up the shine. So I think that's what I want to do for the eyes. I am going to wipe a little bit of this lip off because it is so bright. I might have to put a little foundation on there, but let me go ahead and clean up my under eyes. I'll probably add brows, mascara, and then we'll try out some more stuff. Okay guys, we're ready to move on to the next product. I do want to mention, if you guys didn't know, Makeup Revolution actually makes one of my favorite cream bronzers. I just applied this on my cheeks to warm them up. It seriously is the best for drugstore price. I use the shade Light. Like I said, they have such good cheek products. And speaking of cheek products, let's dive into these. So we'll start with the cream blush, of course. I usually apply my cream blush with the BK Beauty. This is the 111 brush. I like to have a little more density so that I can really pack on the pigment. Ooh, okay, this is really pigmented. So we're gonna really try to blend that out. I just did one dip in for both sides of the face. But this is a nice formula. I don't know if they have like potted cream blushes like this, but if they do, like I need to try them because if they made a bunch in this formula, I would totally go and buy a few because these are really nice. And it just, the perks of having the cute packaging too, but it's also a really good product. Now this highlight might kind of clash with the look, but let's try it anyway. The Mike Wazowski highlighter. This is definitely on this subtle side, but I think it's because it has mostly like that shift to it. So it's nice though. Like it's not overdoing it. I feel like it gives a nice natural look and it's not overly gold or anything like that. I'm just going to highlight a little bit. I like to do my brow bone and I do a little on my nose, like the tip of it and my cupid's bow. So yeah, it does have that very stark gold shift that doesn't really match with the rest of my makeup, but I might just blend a little bit of that into the blush. But it is very pretty, like I would definitely use that with a more golden, warmer type of look. Now I'm just lining out my lips. This is my everyday color, which is the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. Let's try this nudie pink lipstick. I feel like it's a little too pink for my taste, but we're gonna go ahead and put it on. It is a nice formula, like it's very comfortable. It has a little shine to it. Let's do a little bit of the Sully gloss on top. Just for some extra shine. That's a nice gloss too. It basically is a clear, but it does offer a lot of shine and it's not sticky at all. So here's the final look, testing out the collection. Honestly, I have to say overall with everything we tried today, I am pretty impressed. I didn't really think anything I tried was a disappointment or a dud. I really do think Makeup Revolution is getting better and better and I love to see the effort they put into this collection. I know for a while it felt like they were coming out with things every single week, kind of like ColourPop does but I don't know I think they've been calming down a little bit more I know they have just a very wide range of products a few different brands under them even though I didn't get to try out every single palette in the collection I honestly was quite 
blown away with this one like I really went into this I picked it up I'm like that is huge there's no way I'm going to use this but I definitely think like it definitely swatched the best out of all of them and just looking at it there is so much that you can do with this I know it's a lot so if you're not one that's going to reach in for a big palette like this is definitely a skip but I have to say it's honestly pretty decent for the price I think it was like what 25 bucks for all these shades that's like less than a dollar per shadow the, the shimmers I think they could definitely use a little more pizzazz in my opinion because they're not the most sparkly metallics they have more of like a satin finish to them but the mattes were honestly quite good in here maybe a little bit of powderiness from some of the darker colors but not bad I think I definitely would reach into this because I feel like there's so much you can do with it and so many different looks for whatever you're going for I'm really excited about the cheek products again with the cute packaging but also great performers especially this cream blush I feel like is a must-have from the collection I think the highlight is stunning as well and you can't beat having Mike Wazowski on the packaging and as far as the lip products go I think the lip oil is pretty but it gets so dark I'm wondering if I put maybe less product on if it would get to such a bright pink color because I was not expecting it to change that dark. Um, I really like the lip gloss though. The lip colors, I don't know if they're my favorite. The pink, it's not my favorite kind of tone of nude. It's a little too bright or too peachy for me. I like something a little more beigey, but the formula is not bad whatsoever. And as far as the berry color goes, I don't know if I'll use that as much, but it is fall time, but it is about to be fall, so maybe. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts here, just trying everything out. I really wanted to just swatch everything and kind of do my first impressions on this collection and just show you everything because I don't think anyone has shown this yet, and I think it's such a fun collection. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Is this something that you guys want to check out? If you're a big Monsters, Inc. fan like I am, I think you will love it. It's so much fun. I'll see if I can find the products to link for you on Makeup Revolution's website but that's gonna be it for the video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys